At first glance, the American Southwest appears timeless. Vast deserts stretch beneath open skies. Mountain ranges rise in silence, and wide valleys seem carved by nothing more than wind and erosion. To most travelers, this landscape feels ancient and unmoving. But beneath this calm exterior, the continent is under quiet tension. Deep below the surface, the crust of North America is being pulled apart. This is not a sudden or violent process. There are no towering fissures opening overnight, no cities collapsing into the ground. Instead, the separation happens slowly, measured in millimeters per year. Yet over geological time, even the smallest motions can reshape entire continents. The region lies within a broad zone where Earth's outer shell has become unusually warm and thin. Heat rising from the mantle below weakens the rigid crust, making it more vulnerable to stretching. As tension builds, the crust fractures along long fault systems. Some blocks rise, others sink, forming wide basins and elevated ridges that define much of the modern landscape. What we see at the surface, valleys, plateaus, and mountain fronts, is the visible expression of deep tectonic forces. These features are not random. They align along a vast structural boundary that reveals how the continent is responding to stress from within. Volcanic activity provides further evidence of this slow transformation. In several locations, magma has risen through the thinning crust, spreading across the land in eruptions that occurred over millions of years. Large volcanic fields, lava plains, and collapsed magma chambers remain as reminders of this internal heat. Even today, pockets of molten rock still reside beneath the surface, slowly transferring energy upward. This underground activity is not merely a relic of the past. Modern monitoring systems detect subtle but ongoing movement. Small earthquakes ripple through the region as the crust adjusts along fault lines. In some areas, the ground is gradually rising, indicating the presence of magma accumulating at depth. Heat escapes through hot springs and geothermal zones, hinting at the immense energy still locked below. None of this suggests an immediate threat. The process unfolds far too slowly to register in everyday life. Yet its significance becomes clear when viewed on a planetary timescale. Rifting is one of the fundamental ways continents evolve. It begins quietly, with gentle stretching and shallow basins. Over ten within a supercontinent, over time, seawater flooded in, spreading continued, and a new ocean basin formed. What was once solid land slowly drifted apart, reshaping global climates, ecosystems, and coastlines. If the current stretching beneath North America were to persist long enough, a similar outcome is theoretically possible. Valleys could deepen into long troughs, volcanic activity could form chains of islands or ridges, Seawater might eventually move inland, transforming arid basins into a narrow sea. In the far future, the continent could split into separate landmasses, drifting away from one another as a new ocean opens between them. Such a transformation would not happen suddenly. It would take tens of millions of years, longer than the existence of human civilization, longer than the lifespan of most species. It would unfold so gradually that no single moment could be called the beginning or the end. Yet, this outcome is far from guaranteed. Many rift systems begin with promise but never complete the process. Changes in tectonic forces can slow or halt extension. Heat flow from the mantle may weaken. Stress may be redirected elsewhere as plate boundaries evolve. In these cases, rifts become frozen in time, geological scars that never develop into oceans. North America itself contains the remains of such a failed rift. Beneath parts of the continent lies an ancient fracture that nearly split the landmass long ago. Volcanic activity was intense, lava flooded the surface, and the crust stretched dramatically. But eventually, the forces driving the rift diminished and the continent stabilized. Today, that structure remains hidden beneath layers of rock, a reminder that continental breakup is not inevitable.
the future of the current rifting depends on complex and still debated processes. Some scientists argue that gravitational forces are playing a key role, with elevated regions slowly spreading outward under their own weight. Others suggest that deep mantle flow is exerting upward pressure, weakening the crust from below. There are also theories linking the activity to remnants of ancient subducted plates still influencing the mantle beneath the continent. These debates highlight how much remains unknown. The Earth's interior cannot be observed directly, and many of its processes unfold far too slowly to be captured within a single human lifetime. What scientists can do is piece together clues from seismic data, volcanic history, and surface deformation to understand the broader pattern. What is clear is that the continent is not static. The ground beneath the southwest continues to adjust, responding to forces that operate deep within the planet. While the changes are subtle, they are relentless. Year after year, millimeter by millimeter, the crust stretches and shifts. For humans, this process is almost abstract. Cities rise and fall, civilizations come and go, yet the continent beneath them appears unchanged. But in the context of Earth's history, even the largest mountain ranges are temporary. Oceans open and close, continents assemble and break apart. What seems permanent is simply a snapshot in an ongoing cycle. Contemplating this slow transformation offers a humbling perspective. It reminds us that the landscape we inhabit is not fixed, and neither is the planet itself. The deserts, mountains, and valleys of North America are chapters in a much larger story, one written over billions of years by heat, pressure, and motion deep within the Earth. Whether the current rifting eventually succeeds or stalls, its existence reveals something profound. Beneath the quiet surface of the continent, powerful forces are at work, shaping a future that lies far beyond human memory or imagination. In the distant reaches of geological time, North America as we know it might look entirely different. Or it may remain whole, bearing only the subtle scars of a process that never fully unfolded. Either way, the story continues, slowly, patiently, and irresistibly deep beneath our feet.